Well, four years on and I'm sitting in the front seat of another VW and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so four years ago, I bought myself a VW T25 during lockdown when that was a thing and I fully rebuilt it into an off-grid camper and unfortunately could have uni and life and everything, I had to sell it um, and I've been missing it ever since. And the opportunity arose for me to, to buy one again and I just went for it, I just palace it, I just had to do it. And here I am in my 2006 Volkswagen Type 5 um, T30 model um, with a whopping 2.5 litre engine, which is so slow. So slow. God, I want to know how slow the 1.9s are or the 85 horsepowers are. This is slow. I want to see how badly slow those ones are. But it's a wonderful, honestly, it's a wonderful band to drive. Um, it's so rough around the edges. It's got a radio. Um, it has a radio. <laughs> it's got a wing mirror. Um, just about works as a wing mirror. It's got lights. But just work about lights. <laughs> like there's so, there's a lot of rough there's a lot of rough and readiness about this van. First things first is we're gonna get this area sorted. So yeah, as you can see via there, there's a lot of work that he's doing. Um, well, a lot of cleaning. Primarily the flooring. <laughs> there's just so much, so much rubbish down there. And then you can see there's just bits and bobs, lots of rubbish, lots of dirt from the previous owners being left under here. So that needs sorting. And it's fun, you just find bits and bobs in here, which is kind of random. So for example, on the back here, where the, um, wing mirrors are, there's random bits of trim missing. Just found that in there. Happy days. Um, the cover for the fuse, found that. Happy days. Um, there's some questionable things down there, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, probably won't put those on the camera. <laughs> but there's, just, there's bits and bobs down there. Um, little, actually don't, one of the few things in here which is actually quite handy, um, which I've not really seen many in other vehicles, is uh, these things. If you can see that, it's the fuse guard for the um, fuse board. So that's the fuse board, that's the fuse card. And it's honestly actually really cool. Um, well, in an incredibly nerdy way. Basically it has everything. So from the horn to the lights, to different types of engine stuff, to um, ABS, to brakes, tires, all that sort of gearing, all the fuses are literally indicated on here. And it's also indicated on how, which way around it goes as well. So that's pretty handy. I don't know why a lot of cars don't have that because it would make it a lot more accessible for most people to do fixing and stuff to it, but that's it. Here we go. Yes, and before I forget. Right then, it's the next day. Um and it's time to actually clean the cabin because it's absolutely filthy. As you saw earlier on, um, it's absolutely grim in here. So I've got a bunch of stuff ready for it. Necessary, same bag. Um, microfiber towels or cloths, whatever you want to call it. Gloves, because there's a lot of like used drink cans and also you just don't know what you're going to find. It's better to be safe than sorry to wear some gloves because I am littered in scars. So it's I've, I've learned. Um, paintbrush, sounds stupid, but I mean you can get into this sort of stuff. 
you don't need to buy like actual detailing ones. The detailing brushes is a bit more expensive than what they should really be, but it is what it is. And then um, cleaning spray for all dashboards and whatnot, just to give a bit more of a, a bit more of a shine. And then with regards to uh, the chairs, all this stuff is going to be. Um, we've got a, one of those things. The uh, the sucky things. The wet 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 Hoover. Wet Hoover. Yeah. We've got a wet hoover, so what that's going to do is just going to clean up all this dirt. And to be honest, I'm a little bit terrified on how much dirt is going to come out of this because these are so discoloured. These are very discoloured, so nonetheless, let's crack on. <laughs> something that's really kind of annoying <laughs> is right down there there's like a bit of a gap and in that gap there's like a bowl cap and some other stuff that I literally can't grab out This van has been uh, owned by builders, and um, pretty sure someone's got a confession. <laughs> pretty big confession, I think. <laughs> so, to be fair, I'm arguably I'm surprised there's not more rubbish. Either that, or I need bleach in this van. I definitely, definitely don't want to get a UV light in here, do I? And another reason for gloves. This is gonna be my channel of doing up my VW van again. <laughs> and there will be, I'll throw in bits and bobs of me on my narrow boat because now I've moved jobs, I'm gonna try and get a lot, I've got a lot more flexibility basically. So I wanna do a bit more work on the boat and actually take it out and actually enjoy it because over time I've not really enjoyed it. But yeah, this video is only a short introduction of me and the vehicle <laughs> this um very dirty very fun van so yeah my name's luke and welcome to the channel 